Hello and welcome back to Something Z, and welcome to Wave Deku at a Shadow Teleportation Quirk Part 7. Last time on the What If, both Izuku and Bakugo got captured by the League of Villains. So, let's jump back into the What If. It's been days since the summer camp, and Bakugo and Izuku are both trapped and restrained in chairs, and the League is trying to convince them both to join the League and become villains. But when they are set free from the chairs and make their decision, Izuku and Bakugo both decline the offer, and when Izuku was going to make a portal, nothing happened. And beknownst to him, they had a quirk dampener on his leg, since the League didn't want them to easily escape. So, but even still, Izuku and Bakugo stood ready to fight, and the two fought the League. But since Muscular is there, it was way more harder for Izuku who at this moment is quirkless. But before anyone could get injured, besides cuts and scratches, there was a knock on the door. And a second later, the door blew open, with the pro heroes All Might, Gran Torino, and Kamui Woods standing in the hole in the wall. And when Izuku sees the heroes, he quickly tells them he has a quirk dampener on his leg. Hearing this, All Might quickly grabs the dampener and rips it off Izuku's leg, giving back Izuku's quirk. And when Kurogiri tried to make a portal out of the hideout, Kamui Woods wrapped up all the villains. Then Dobby tried to burn the wood, but Gran Torino quickly kicked Dobby in the head, knocking him out. And that's when Edshot slides through the door and shows that the whole building is surrounded by the police. And before anyone could react, weird portals opened up that weren't Izuku's or Kurogiri's. And summoned no moves to the hideout. And the portals grabbed the villains, Izuku and Bakko. And when the portal is gone, Izuku and Bakko find themselves in the remains of a destroyed city block. And around them is the League of Villains, but there was one more person and he seemed to be more frightening than the rest of them, like he had an ominous aura around him. And that villain was all for one. There were also some pro heroes, but they were easily defeated by the villain. Izuku was planning on making a portal away from the villains, but since he was stuck fighting the League, he couldn't escape if he wanted to bring Bakugo with him. But after a couple of minutes, All Might comes out of nowhere and he looked angry the moment he saw all for one. The two fight with All Might holding back since he didn't want Bakugo or Izuku to be hit by the shockwaves. And the two fight the League, trying to find an opening to escape, and what everyone did not know besides All for One was Momo, Ida, Todoroki, and Kirishima were hiding behind a wall of a building, and they eventually came up with a plan which was the best they could think of. So they jumped out from the wall and they joined the fight, and they tried to get all the villains away from Izuku and Bakugo, and they stayed around each other, and Izuku created a portal and they fell, while Bakugo and Todoroki used their quirks to keep the league away. And when they got enough momentum, they were able to fling themselves away from the area, and the only problem they had was Magna, who used his quirk to pull themselves towards him. But Mount Lady grew and blocked their path, and when he tried again, Gran Torino was able to knock him out. Thus, the UA students were able to escape. And the fight will end the same with All Might barely able to be all for one. But this All Might is more injured than the original, and he is in the hospital for the next couple of days. And days later, after the incident, Aizawa had to go to all Cosmo 8's houses and told them that they will be moving to dorms. And in this, Inko will accept this because Izuku, unlike the canon, doesn't get injured as many times. And thus, she trusts Yue more for her son's safety. And the same thing happened with Sue, and how she said that they left to go save Izuku and Bakugo. In the next class they had, they were in the gym, and there they are told about the provisional license exams, and that they will, for the next couple of days, will be practicing their quirks, and come up with new improved hero costumes if they need it. And Izuku's special move that he could come up with for the first two days was that he would try and do his own form of Gran Torino's jumping around during the League of Villains raid. But since he only used two portals at once, it was more of just him flying around, so he's also training on how to make a third portal. And he didn't train for that only in the gymnasium, but he did it at any free time he had since he wanted to get it down, since this will be the first time that he's tried to make multiple portals. On the third day, at the end of the training, he was finally able to create a third portal. It was smaller, but it didn't matter since he believes he can train it to become as big as the others. And after some testing, he learned that since there were three, they were all linked, so he could control where each portal leads to. Since just because one portal leads you to somewhere, unless Azuku wants you to, it could possibly lead you to someplace else. And later that day, he went to the development studio in order for him to upgrade his suit. And what he did to it was made it look like costume Gamma, but its only colors are black and red. And he also got a new weapon approved by Power Loader, which was two electric batons. And they had the same color schemes as him as well. And he spends the rest of the time before the exams to practice using the batons normally, and how to use them as projectiles with the power of his portals. And so it's finally the day of the exams and the same things happen and they meet Shiketsu and now they are currently in the exam room and the rules were just explained to them. And when the announcer finishes speaking, the giant room unfolds itself, and the examinees find themselves in a large arena. And after the class leaves, Izuku tells everyone that they should stick together, or they could get picked off easier, but Bakugo, Todoroki, Denki, and Kirishima left the group. And after a minute of running, Class 1A is surrounded by a huge group of people. 
and they all throw balls at them. And Kasuo and I was able to protect themselves. And the way Zuko was able to block the attack was he had two portals for a type of storage, and he made the balls fall, and he used the third portal as a shield to protect himself. And if he needed to, he could launch the balls at high speeds. But after a bit of time of Class 1A in the group, Yo from Shiketsu uses a special move making a tremor and making the ground break. And that one action was enough to split up Class 1A. And after he gets up, Azuku walks around the arena trying to find anyone he knows. And since the tremor made him lose concentration on his portals, he lost all of his balls. But while he was looking, he was attacked by Kami, who disappeared and reappeared. And before either of them could get out, they are surrounded by a high school, and they start to throw balls at them. And while Zuku looks for a way out, he notices that Kami is gone. And a second later, Otako is standing above him, and she was trying to save him. And while she was trying to save him, she slips off the rock she was standing on, and Azuku created a portal under her, and above his arms, catching her. And he runs with her in his arms, using portals as shields, and eventually Azuku and Ochako were able to escape. And while Azuku was looking to see if anyone followed them, he noticed that Ochako was about to hit his target, but he created a portal over her hand and ran in front of him. Then he grabbed her hand so she couldn't escape. Then Azuku realized that if it was Ochako, she would have flowed away since that's what she'd been training on. Then Ochako seemed to melt, and she escaped Azuku's grasp, but left the ball, and the Ochako was actually Kami. And the two fight with Izuku actually just defending himself, since her targets were not visible, and she was just trying to scratch him. And in the middle of the fight, the real Ochako shows up with Sarah, and seeing them, Kami disappears. And after they go to a safe place, they come up with a plan to get some targets. Izuku is used as bait to draw out any other schools that were left. And when Izuku is surrounded, Ochako threw giant rocks that had Sarah's tape attached. And when they were over the enemy, she gave them weight again. And before it could hit Izuku, he created a portal and avoided the tape. And that's where he got the targets of whoever got stuck to the ground, letting them pass to the next round. And everyone in class 1A was able to make it to the next round. And when the people who passed were in the room, they saw on the big screens that the arena they were just in got destroyed. And then they are told that the next part of the exams will be to save people. And when they were released, most of class 1A ran in a group. And the first person they saw was a kid who had blood coming from their head. And Izuku gets some points taken off because he didn't comfort him. But Izuku then smiles and said it will be okay. And then he was able to pick up the kid and bring him to safety. And that's when the class splits up and goes to save people around the city. But after Izuku brought the injured kid to the first aid station, that's when gang Orca and a group of underlings burst through the walls. And it's then in the speakers they hear that the villain that started this is going to start attacking again. And Izuku is told by some other examinees to help them bring the injured out of harm's way by using his portals. And after he got half of the injured away, he sees that Todoroki and the guy who didn't want to go to Yue were fighting each other. So he quickly left to see what's going on. And when he finally gets there, a wave of flames almost hit Yue. But Zuku was able to create a portal to protect him. Then he launches himself at Gang Orca, and he flung himself around the pro hero. And while he was slinging himself around, he always had three portals open at the same time. And he hit Gang Orca a couple times with his batons. And when one of the underlings would just shoot him, he redirected it at Gang Orca, hitting him in the shoulder. But Zuku let down his guard, and Gang Orca was able to grab onto him, stopping the attack. And while Zuku was being held by his collar, the test ended because the last civilian got saved. And that's where I'm going to leave the what if. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next time on Something Z.